everybody. Welcome to the latest edition of Nets Post Game Plus. I'm Nancy Newman with Frank Isola. It's 114-96, the final. The Hawks take the second game of a back-to-back -back with a wire-to-wire -wire victory. Yeah. Defense is where we start. Absolutely. Atlanta is a very good team. They had 89 points after three quarters. That's a problem again for the Nets. Defensively in the fourth, yeah, they played a little bit better. But remember, the game started to get out of reach. They were down by 20 early in the fourth quarter of this game. But what also killed the Nets, 7 of 37 on three-point shooting. So they had an issue with offense tonight, but defense again, 89 points after three quarters for the Atlanta Hawks. So three and three overall now. Second chance points continue to be an issue for Brooklyn. They are allowing more per game than any other NBA team. And the Hawks put up 22 of them, some of which helped Atlanta seize control of the game early in the second quarter. Following the action, Steve Nash talked about the Nets' defensive effort in this one compared to the first game between these teams on Wednesday. You know, we looked at a lot of things from the first game. Uh, you know, we didn't improve on a lot of it. I thought we gave up less offensive rebounds. Um, but, you know, we, we hurt our defense with turnovers, uh, and they stretched us, and we didn't do a good job. Or we didn't improve enough in the areas that we were, we were weak in. So, you know, it just seems like it's a little thing here, a little thing there. It wasn't necessarily one situation more than others. There's like... You know, you'd make a mistake in communication, a mistake in transition, a mistake on the pick and roll, you know, a mistake on a pin down. So, um, you know, we we'll just got, we just got to stick with it. It's early. We're frustrated with it. Um, you know, but it is so early that there, we need to give ourselves some time to continue to work and improve, uh, communicate, and get better. Christian Winfield, New York Daily News. Hey, Coach. Um, the Hawks first built their lead uh, in the second quarter in a run. Um, and I, I was just curious as to whether or not you, you wanted the team to play through that run or whether you intentionally didn't call the timeout there or just what was what, what, what went down on that? Yeah, it, it was it was early. Um, you know, I, I, I don't you know, want to I want to give them an opportunity to try to problem solve, uh, to try to figure things out themselves, you know, throughout the season. So that doesn't mean I won't call timeouts. But at the same time, I want to give them an opportunity to you know, to get to to make to feel that, to feel the other team going on a run and to solve some of those problems themselves. So that that was more the thinking. You know, it's uh, game uh, six and it's the second quarter and we're not shooting the ball well. So, uh, you know, I wanted to give them a little bit of time to try to find it and, and more than anything to feel that and experience that together so that they can continue to build their resolve and, uh, and understanding. Brooklyn will return to action on Sunday with a matchup against Washington at Barclay Center. Coverage begins at 5.30 p.m. For Frank Isola, I'm Nancy Newman. Thanks for watching Nets Post Game Plus.